Welcome guys, finally a review concerning a 2020 Lemax collection building. This time I will do first unboxing and full review of Claire's confectionery. Let's have a look to the box starting as usual from the back side. Claire's confectionery, part number 05665. 2020 Lemax Incorporated. Standard layout with uh, a description in multiple languages, detailed uh, advice that you will have an LED bulb inside and that you should use three 1.5 volt AAWA batteries. From each side the same exact picture as you have from the front side and the main picture here, the front side of the box. The building itself and a small insert concerning the internal scenes you have inside the uh, shop window. Nothing more than some uh, candy canes, uh, wrapped gift and a cake or a giant cupcake uh, as you wish. Let's unbox the building. Let's open the box. Standard packaging with the styrofoam container inside. Voila. This time I have to notice. Generally I usually find only one notice inside, but uh, this time we have two notice and a congratulation card detailing that uh, we have just bought an handmade porcelain building. Okay, let's know. This is the bottom, this is the top. Lemax 05665, part number top. Let's remove uh, the velcro. Here we go. Okay. And this is the first unboxing. We have the light bulb, the LED light bulb, new version of course. They started making these uh, some years ago. And uh, we have uh, the adapter. Standard battery adapter, no plug for an AC adapter and you should use as I just told three 1.5 WA batteries. Let's try not to broke anything and let's remove the building from the styrofoam. Okay. silica gel to prevent damaging from water, from humidity and here we have Claire's confectionery building and made of course let's have a look from the back side and let me just put it right there Time for the full review. See you in a few seconds. And finally, a 2020 Lemax building. More precisely, a Caddington collection building. This is Lemax part number 05665, Claire's Confectionery. Let's have a couple, maybe three tours around in order to let you appreciate everything from this building then I will try to detail everything in just some uh, minutes. Okay, just one more tour and I think it is enough. Okay, 
the dimensions of the building and I will go as you know with eight then with then depth. Clair confectionery is uh, 7.4 inches by 5.9 inches by 5.1 inches in depth or 18.9 centimeters by 15.1 centimeters by 13 centimeters in depth. The weight. The weight is 39.5 ounces or 1119 grams a little more than a kilogram do I love this building yes I love it not as much as uh, Nora's uh, Christmas boutique that I reviewed but some uh, weeks ago and this is not a masterpiece but I love this building uh, everything is uh, sparkling uh, love and uh, sweetness and I will try to explain it to you in just a few uh, seconds. Let's just uh, start from the back side as always. Here we go. Let me just adjust it. Okay. A little in that. Let's start from the roof. Yes, I know this is an handmade building and this chimney is a little crooked crooked sorry but hey, it's what you get if you want to have an handmade and unique object uh, roof tiles perfect as always with lemax and all the building is also very interesting because all the walls are some sort of wrinkled walls or i don't know if you know uh, some uh, Tough walls, T U F F, and uh, it is an old uh, building material, but these resemble very much to some uh, tough. From behind, from the back side, obviously, no need to have a real uh, windows or open uh, windows, so here yeah, we have uh, two, uh, a couple of uh, uh, closed windows, and this is uh, a first. Uh, um, a Victorian uh, frieze that we see into this building and this is some sort of uh, uh, reverse set of upside down heart I will get in details with that uh, when I will talk about the front side let's uh, get there as always the big round hole for the uh, LED bulb and uh, the back door for the building. No need to uh, do a perfect uh, coloration of the back side of the building but it's interesting anyway and this is some rough walls too. Uh, I repeat uh, wrinkled walls or tough walls and I love this kind of walls uh, and this is all for the uh, back side I think yes this is all uh, colors colors absolutely perfect uh, with a uh, great differentiation of color uh, some light blue some yellow brown dark brown and it captures uh, immediately your attention Okay, uh, let's go with uh, another side, no, the other side, uh, maybe this one, no, 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 this one, sorry. Uh, and this is already very interesting. So from this side and starting from the roof. The main chimney here, uh, very beautiful uh, done, and this is the uh, little metal chimney for maybe... Uh, the heat inside this little room that uh, we have here with uh, these uh, um, some sort of uh, rounded uh, window there let's get down a little bit and another upside down heart, heart here uh, two more uh, Victorian friezes here and uh, another turned canopy here 
uh, let's just uh, appreciate let me just do this and from this uh, angle here you can appreciate that this is not a flat canopy but this is uh, uh, coming out from the wall as uh, this uh, as for the two uh, Victorian friezes here so this is very interesting for this building and another heart here this one is a plain red and this is not overturned a couple more arts um, yellow arts on the um, on the window shots here and the window this time it is a perfect uh, window perfect as <laughs> as a standard for an handmade building with everything placed correctly you can also appreciate and the cut that still how the the, um, the windows has been made you can appreciate these little cuts still here uh, when the um, the crafter that made it just use a little tool to uh, cut into to um, to cut the hole into the uh, porcelain when it was uh, not cooked but just uh, simply uh, hardened and uh, these uh, these traces, little traces, will uh, remain forever. Uh, blue shots for the uh, window. I appreciate uh, these uh, uh, difference of colors all around the building, as I previously said. And here we go, another uh, Victorian friezes here with uh, some uh, two more uh, friezes there. Same uh, ringed wall, same uh, tough wall here and uh, this is a uh, very and finally a roof that it's not arched so this is pure european or or old world if you prefer building let's go from the other side from the other side here we go here we go with the other side the crooked chimney i don't care i love this crooked chimney the roof tiles are perfect, another overturned uh, light blue uh, part here, the same kind of uh, Victorian friezes so that we have from the other side, another um, arched uh, window there, the same uh, overturned canopy I told you before, and um, this will be the chimney for the uh, main uh, cooking area I think, because this is a uh, confectionery and they still need to cook sometimes maybe every day and uh, a rectangular window there um, and the same uh, freezes we got from the other side if you want to see from uh, this angle I can show you from this angle too and this is quite interesting uh, for this building let me just adjust a little bit then we'll go with the uh, Christmas tree here uh, some uh, Christmas boards, a golden star here that we will appreciate more precisely when we will talk about the uh, front side and this is all from this side too I think yes the same colors, some light brown, yellow, grey, light blue, uh, red, uh, yellow, this kind of differentiation with a pale yellow there and a more intense yellow here is uh, very well uh, done. And also from this side uh, the viewer get attracted to the building. Let's have a look to main uh, side, the front side, here, and let me just do a quick introduction there. I've loved this building, as I said before, for the love and the sweetness, it sparkles, okay, but this building also reminds me Alice in Wonderland, I will try to explain and I'm not talking about the uh, motion pictures from 2010 by Tim Burton or the original one from 1951, the uh, animated Disney classic. I'm talking about uh, the book itself, 
if you haven't read it, <laughs> just read it because it's a very good book even for uh, adults, not only for a child, and it has been uh, written by uh, Lewis Carroll in 1865, but it's always a modern book. I just say it reminded me of Alice in Wonder. Why? Simply because, just uh, imagine this is an uh, overturned art here, the roof there. Let me just uh, have uh, an, um, a look there. I have some blue, light blue hearts here, yes, but I have also these rounded, uh, overturned uh, heart here, but it can also be compared to uh, spades. And you know that uh, Alice in Borderland is a plenty of spades, clubs, diamonds, and arts. I'm uh, uh, I'm thinking this is an art simply because art, as explained by Lewis Carroll in the book, are uh, representing uh, the royal family. Then the spades, the gardeners, the clubs, the soldiers, and uh, the diamonds, the courtier. I don't think it is, is a representation of some gardeners, but maybe a magnificence for the royal uh, family, so I think this is uh, an overturned art for me, even if it is more resembling to some uh, spades. Anyway, I think this is uh, an art uh, overturned. So that's why I think this is a very... Uh, very similar to Alice in Wonderland. It reminds me uh, what Alice in Wonderland. Uh, for some other details that I will explain in just a few uh, seconds. Let me just get these a little bit more. I, I know I may sound crazy but just uh, think about it. So starting from the roof uh, this uh, little uh, uh, light blue heart here, some very interesting uh, Victorian friezes there, this time a real uh, yellow and red canopy uh, on top of this uh, window there with some yellow hearts and the blue uh, shots here. And this is between uh, Freeze and a flower, a blue and a yellow flower with uh, the, center, the center of the flower there. Also very beautiful, very interesting for this building. A couple more of uh, Victorian friezes. It can resemble to uh, spades there, I'm aware of that. But I don't think this is a gardener. So it is in the middle, just because uh, I have plenty of arts and uh, some uh, times I have some uh, spades uh, uh, and some flower there that can resemble to some uh, gardener, I know. But there are more arts than uh, spades, so this is a royal uh, building for me. Uh, I know the, um, the shop sign is a little bit... Uh, a little bit uh, turn it towards the left, but this is unique. I will have this building just uh, for my collection and you can't have it with this turned um, shop sign there. So Claire's uh, Confectionery Victorian Sweet Shop. Very interesting shop sign here. I forgot this uh, other uh, window uh, there surely from another room of uh, the confectionery. Let's get down a little bit more. Another heart here, another big uh, red heart here with uh, some, I don't know, uh, freeze here. Yes, these are two more uh, freezes. A big giant uh, canopy on top of uh, the uh, main entrance door. Let me just show you from this uh, angle there, and you can appreciate that it is uh, a very well done uh, canopy in there. Also, I have here um, a mistletoe wreath, sorry, with some 
uh, Christmas golden uh, bowls, I think, yes, there. And uh, the main entrance door is completely green with a little uh, red R. They're uh, a little bit more darker than this one. This building is a uh, welcoming you guys. Let's just uh, think about uh, these two uh, little walls here as two big arms saying, just saying to you, come on inside, uh, let me hug you for the festivity, for the Christmas period. And this is exactly uh, the same ambience, the same atmosphere we have in uh, royal family, even if they are all a little a bit mad but uh, the royal family is intended to be um, welcoming and this is a welcome sign for this uh, building don't think about Alice in Wonderland and with all the uh, crazy uh, killer family but uh, this is uh, precisely uh, a welcoming building I know you need to be to do a big effort of imagination but those for me are two arms welcoming you and trying to hug you not kill you not strangle you but simply uh, hugging you and this is exactly the christmas uh, spirit there uh, this is the same christmas tree but we here from this uh, front side we can appreciate uh, more uh, the uh, golden star on top of the uh, tree and uh, some more uh, freezes there and another another uh, sign there free samples take one and the poor dog here is waiting for the chocolates to uh, cold down I think even if uh, uh, chocolates are a little uh, not uh, sweeter for uh, dogs. Just think about the problems that will cause the dog eating some uh, chocolate, some cocoa. Two lanterns there, they are not real lanterns, so the buildings, uh, when you switch on, uh, when you turn on the buildings, they will remain uh, dark. You don't have any LED inside. And the main window there. I know there is a little problem there, the artist that made it, the crafter that made it uh, caused a little problem on the window uh, and it is a little bit uh, scratched the window, the plastic window, but I don't care. If you imagine it from the distance it resembles to the, uh, the smoke, the, the, the vapor uh, coming from the chocolates that are cooling uh, down. I don't care. I don't care uh, essentially because of from the distance you can't even see this little scratch on the window. Uh, there is a um, uh, writing on the window, uh, fine uh, candies. Okay, and uh, inside uh, I know the building is uh, uh, turned off so you can't appreciate it, but on the left here you have some uh, candy canes. Uh, in the, the right uh, you have um, a wrapped uh, gift, a wrapped packet and in plain in the middle some giant uh, cake or maybe a cupcake, a white cupcake. Uh, some more uh, freezes there, uh, some more yellow and uh, light blue freezes, some more green uh, uh, freezes uh, there and uh, let me just have a look from this angle too you can appreciate it from uh, this angle too with the poor dog there and uh, staring at the chocolate and uh, that's all I think uh, yes I've said everything for this building it's not a masterpiece as I've already said but it's a very uh, well done uh, building. Oh, maybe I don't. I haven't talked about these uh, uh, sign there, sweets and uh, treats. It's a pure um, Christmas. Um, it's pure Christmas uh, um, atmosphere. 
you can't have uh, Christmas uh, without uh, sweet, uh, without chocolate, without uh, bakeries, without a confectionery or patisserie. It's not possible. So, for me, there is more pro than cons. And I'm talking about pro. Everything is pro. The roof, the freezes, the, um, the colors, the walls, the little imperfection. Maybe it has a lot of imperfection, but as always, I don't care. I love imperfections. And uh, the only cons I can find you have no snow on the roof this is from Caddington collection and Caddington collection is set in uh, winter uh, it is supposed to be uh, representing uh, the period of uh, uh, Christmas between November and December and uh, representing Christmas Carol with Scrooge and everything else. I also have a little figurines about the Scrooge uh, in my uh, village. Uh, so you can't have a building without the snow in the Caddington collection, but they still do them without uh, the snow. Sometimes, sometimes they do them without the snow. It's not a problem. I will add some snow on top of the roof. I haven't already shown you how I made my snow for the roof, but I will do in some uh, part of the remaining uh, series. And pro and cons are done, everything is uh, done. So uh, it's time to end his uh, full review and I hope uh, you enjoyed it, if not, my bad, bye.